Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial of PrestaShop product barcode label module. In this video, I'll explain you the process to configure the module and I'll also help you with the workflow and the configuration settings of the module. So without wasting a single more minute, let's just go to the PrestaShop back office to see the configuration settings of the module and know more about the workflow to generate a barcode label for a product. As you can see that I have already installed this module in my Presta shop. So let's just go to the configuration page. The configuration page consists of two sections. Let's uh, see each of the section and options available in each section one by one. The first section is barcode settings. Under this, there are multiple options available. So let's see the significance of each option one by one. First option is barcode type. Here you can select a barcode type that is a code which you will be using to generate a barcode label. There are three types of codes available for a product, ISBN, UPC and EAN 13 slash Jan. You can use any one of them to identify your product and create a barcode label using that uh, code. Now next is printing settings. In case if you enable this option then you can generate barcode labels that is multiple barcode labels in a row. To ease the process uh, let me just explain you how we have eased the process by uh, giving an option to uh, generate multiple barcodes in a row. In coming part, I will explain the process to generate multiple barcodes in a single attempt. So that settings allows you to save some time in order to generate multiple barcode labels. The use of this setting comes at that instant only. In case if this option is disabled, then those multiple barcode labels are generated in a column. But in case if you enable this option, then those multiple barcode labels which you have selected to generate will be uh, printed in a row. Then Next is barcode size. You can choose to customize the dimension of a barcode label from here. You can set a height and width of that barcode label. Then next is details above barcode and detail below barcode. You can choose out of these three options available here, product name, price and reference to show below and above the barcode. These three options are only available to show above and below barcode. You can choose any one of them to uh, show at the barcode label. The preview of the barcode label that how your barcode label will show that is if you select the options from here will would be shown here on the configuration page only. Now save the settings and let's just proceed further. Next section is CSV to barcode generation. This option particularly helps in case when you are planning to generate barcode labels for thousands of products. Then you can easily upload a CSV file and choose to print all those barcodes in one go only. To know more about the format of a CSV file, you can simply just click here to get a sample CSV file or download it. And along with that, we have also provided here a common uh, process or the process which you will be following to generate a CSV file. That is in first column, you must create or add a product ID. And the second column of CSV must have the number of labels you want to print for that product. Apart from that, in case if you don't find it much 
यूजफुल और हेल्पफुल और इट बिकम्स हार्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड टेक इन देन यू कैन ऑल्सो क्लिक हेयर टू गेट अ सैम्पल सी एस वी फाइल सो दैट यू कैन ईजली क्रिएट योर ओन सी एस वी फाइल फॉर जनरेटिंग मल्टीपल बार कोड्स एट अ सिंगल टाइम नाउ लेट्स जस्ट गो टू दी कैटलॉग सेक्शन टू सी हाउ बार कोड लेवल्स आर जनरेटेड देर आर टू थ्री वेज टू जनरेट अ बार कोड लेवल लेट्स जस्ट सी हाउ अ बार कोड लेबल इज जनरेटेड फॉर अ सिंगल प्रोडक्ट In order to generate a barcode label for a single product, you can simply click on these three dots. Here, a new option that is print barcode, print barcode is added by this module. Earlier, it has only these three options, but with the integration of module, we have added this option here. You can simply click here. After that, you will be prompted a confirmation. click on print barcode now and by taking some time a barcode will be printed you can choose to print it via a printer which you have connected with your computer or you can also choose to generate a pdf of that barcode label i'll just zoom out this particular barcode label to give you an overview that how this barcode label is generated as you can see the selected code that is upc code of a product is printed here here is the product name and below the barcode label the product price is shown as per the setting you can customize that as per your own convenience from the configuration settings apart from that you can also choose to generate multiple barcodes in a single time for a products you can simply select all those products which you for which you want to generate a barcode label after that go to bulk set actions here this new option is again added by the module click here after that it will take some time to generate the barcode label for each of these selected products and on the generation of that you can simply a uh, print or save that as pdf as it was happening earlier now one thing to note is that you can see that these barcode labels are printed here in a row this is because as i have already told you because of the printing setting we have enabled the printing setting from the configuration settings that's why these barcode labels are Uh, printed in a row in case if that printing setting was off then these barcode labels would be printed here in a column that is one below the other now let's just select a product to know how we can print a barcode label for a combination or where is the option to add codes for the generation of barcode but first let's just see that how we can add a code that those identifier codes identifier codes are available here under option section here you can choose to add isbn en13 or jan barcode or a upc barcode with the selected settings that is under the configuration settings as you have already seen that we have selected upc for the generation of barcode in case if we select an isbn from the configuration settings now then this product then the barcode label for this particular product cannot be generated the reason being we have not yet added any codes for this isbn in case if we add this then only we can use the isbn code for the generation of a barcode but that's just another matter i have told you for now you can see that i have added this upc barcode here after adding that only you can create the or you can generate the barcode label for this product now let's just go to the combination section to know how the barcode labels for a combinations are generated or uh, 
button to generate a barcode label is available against each of the listing of the combinations as you can see here you can simply click on this to generate a barcode label for this particular combination on clicking this option the that same page opens again and you can always choose to save that as a pdf or print it via the connected printer which you have through your computer apart from that for the generation of barcodes you must i uh, specify the codes that is upc code or ean code or the isbn code now the code which is added here is for this whole product not for the combinations for the combinations you need to go here on clicking this you can see that here is the section of specific references and here you can choose to add a isbn code ean code and upc barcode again but for this particular combination only after adding that only you can create a barcode label here i have added a barcode uh, sorry a code that is upc code for these two combinations only so i can always choose to generate the barcode for these two combinations at one time you can simply select those combinations and click here at this print barcode combinations and the same process will follow again and that might take some time to print the barcodes and uh, in the meantime this the process happens again and the same page opens again with the barcodes where you can choose to print or save the barcodes as per your own convenience now as you can see that these two barcodes are generated here again for the combinations but you might notice that the name of the combination is never available here however the codes will suffice or the work as i did work as to identify the combinations now you must be wondering what happens when we proceed to print a barcode for the combination that has not that doesn't contain any codes any identifier codes isbn or en etc whatever is available here under the settings as you can see here under the combination size l no codes are available here for that an error message will display whenever we try to print a barcode as you have seen here that this error message was shown here and you cannot generate a barcode label until and unless you add a identifier code and the code should be from the configuration settings so only uh, what i mean to say that the code which you have selected from the configuration setting to generate a barcode label that code should only be added here then only you can generate let's just say that you have uh, selected upc code for the generation of a barcode and here under the product section or the combination section you add a ean or slash gen 13 code then also you would not be able to generate a barcode label because you have selected upc code for the generation of a barcode so this was all about the configuration and workflow of the prestashop product barcode label module I hope this video helps you to configure and use the module in the best possible way. Thank you.